Hi, and welcome to the Jelvix channel, the space of insights and curiosity. Today, we'll explore the fascinating Python capabilities. The Python's reach lengths of over 20 feet and the Python's venom is... Hold on a moment, we're not talking about the reptile. We're diving into the programming language. Apologies for the confusion. Let's start anew. So did you know that Python is older than Java? Did you know that Python developers might be philosophers by nature? As Python's official documentation includes a set of principles called the Zen of Python, or the fact that tech giants like Google, NASA, Slack, and even OpenAI all use Python. Let's explore these and many more fascinating facts about Python and its best frameworks. We are Jelvix, a software development partner for industry leaders. We post weekly videos on tech in five minutes. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, use the super thanks feature to support our channel so we can deliver more great content. And make sure to watch the video till the end to discover the inspiration behind the name of this programming language. We promise you'll be surprised. All right, back to work. As you might know, Python is the most popular programming language, holding a market share of nearly 28%. Therefore, the best Python frameworks are literally the best of the best. And you might ask, what makes Python frameworks stand out from other frameworks? Well, according to Jelvix developers, their uniqueness lies in a high level of simplicity, flexibility, extensibility, cross-platform compatibility, ease of deployment, a rich ecosystem of libraries, frameworks, and tools, out-of-the-box features to accelerate development, and seamless integration with third-party services. Stunningly, Python has over 4,000 frameworks listed in various repositories and websites. And while we can't analyze the efficiency of them all, several assessment criteria can help us identify the most famous ones. So let's get started. The most popular Python framework prize undoubtedly goes to Django, followed by TensorFlow and Flask. Django is popular due to its rapid development, built-in admin interface, robust security, extensive documentation, strong community support, and the don't repeat yourself dry for reduced redundancies and code reusability. These features make Django an efficient and reliable framework for building scalable, high-performing solutions. However, its monolithic architecture, ORM limitations, heavier resource consumption, and steeper learning curve compared to other frameworks might pose some challenges to Django developers. Have you ever used Django? If so, share your experience in the comments. Let's go to the next category, which is expert rating. According to G2 Grid for Python web frameworks, Django, Flask, and ActiveState platform are the highest ranked by G2 experts. Now, since we've already reviewed the advantages and drawbacks of Django, let's get to our silver winner, Flask. Flask is well known for its lightweight and minimalistic design, allowing flexibility and easy customization according to project requirements. Its simplicity, extensive ecosystem of extensions and documentation, and active community make it an attractive choice for developers. However, Flask's scalability is relatively lower than frameworks like Django, and its lack of strict conventions may demand more decision-making during development. Also, since it relies on third-party extensions for advanced features, it is not well-suited for managing complex applications. Sliding into our next category, the Jelvix developers agree Flask is the easiest one to start with as a beginner. The other user-friendly frameworks are Bottle and Web.py. Particularly, Bottle is suited for beginners due to its minimalistic design, straightforward syntax, and support for single-file applications. Its built-in features and lack of external dependencies allow beginners to start with the framework quickly. However, there's a twist. Less documentation and a relatively smaller community can impact the learning curve for beginners, while its limited scalability might make it unsuitable for complex web applications. Asking which Python framework is the easiest without context is like asking which roads to take without knowing the destination. The choice depends on the specific use case and project requirements. For example, the top choices for web and software development might be Django, Flask, FastAPI, and Pyramid. These frameworks are known for their productivity, scalability, and performance optimizations, which are paramount for this use case. Next, the best frameworks for machine learning should have flexibility, scalability, high interoperability, experimentation support, modal interpretability, deployment capabilities, and strong community support. Scikit-learn, TensorFlow, PyTorch, and Keras might be good options. Meanwhile, the frameworks used for automation should include cross-platform compatibility, modularity, extensibility, integration with CI-CD pipelines, reporting and logging, scalability, support for test data management, and strong community support. Robot Framework, Selenium, PyTest, and Behave might perform well in this case. Now, high performance is crucial for some projects, and there are Python frameworks for that too. Tornado, FastAPI, Sanic, and Bottle. The crucial capabilities of such frameworks include asynchronous I.O. support, efficient request handling, lightweight design, scalability for handling high concurrency, non-blocking I.O. operations, and optimization techniques for speed and resource utilization. So to sum up, each framework has its strengths and weaknesses, and the best fit depends on the specific requirements of the project. So after the award ceremony, let's dive into the fun part, Python's origin. 
Guido Van Rossum, the father of Python, created it during the Christmas holidays and picked up the name referring to the British comedy troupe, Monty Python, accentuating the language's playful, whimsical nature. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Check out our video dedicated to the best Node.js frameworks for more insights. If so, support us by liking it and leaving a comment. And don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button. Bye for now.